I mean, some months I can make eight or nine hundred dollars. I'm surprising myself all the time. Like, I didn't know I could really do this and make such pretty things with my hands. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I have a guest with me today, Danielle Williams. Thank you, Danielle, for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Yay. Um, so Danielle is a calligrapher. She took my Modern Calligraphy 201 Intermediate course. She has been teaching calligraphy for a little over a year now yes. with Sip and Script. And she's now really putting her energy into like building up her own calligraphy brand and becoming a like pro calligrapher that works with wedding clients. She's from Ohio. She's an aunt. She's caring for her mom who has dementia. She works kind of part-time from home. And I'm just like so curious. I just want to like dive into your story, Danielle. Like where does calligraphy fit into all this? Like how did you get into it in the first place? Uh, yes, yeah, so it is as if I don't have enough going on in my crazy <laughs> life. But um, so during the pandemic, you know, we were all so encouraged to just like find something crafty and creative to do since we're all stuck inside. So I tried a few things. I tried like painting by numbers and acrylic painting and all that. And then I just kind of stumbled into calligraphy. I think I just saw some cool stuff on Instagram yeah. and it just kind of like, you know, felt really nice and comfortable. And it just kind of was like oh that's really kind of cool and I guess because I've always liked to write I was the kind of kid that would just like sit at my dad's desk and just like write not doodle or draw but just write uh -huh. so I guess it kind of just you know stuck to me or something and so that's how I got into it so I started in 2021 during the pandemic I just really fell in love with it and of course then I went down a whole rabbit hole and yeah. was like just yeah so it, and then it just became who I am <laughs> became who you are you're like I'm just a calligrapher now that's how I describe myself you took all these kind of online classes to kind of learn the basics and stuff what made you decide you wanted to invest in our courses I just really wanted to kick it up a notch kind of to elevate my style to learn some different styles to keep myself kind of marketable and like I said just now that I've got the basics where do I go from here and your courses just spoke to me I was just like wow this is what I really need. I, I took something similar before, but it just mm. didn't really speak to me like you did. It was just very fun, but you know what you're doing, but it's yeah. still, you make it fun and enjoyable. You laugh a lot. And, and I think it's just the way that you teach, just very encouraging and very supportive. And, and, and it was a little bit different from how the other course was. So this Got one it. was just like, yeah, I can yeah. like really kind of dig this chick I like I like what she's saying yeah I just liked your way of teaching and it just really spoke to me and I just was like I really think this is going to help me grow my business a lot so okay speaking of business did you know that you wanted to do that when you first got into calligraphy tell us a bit about your business journey um I didn't really think about it like a business journey in the beginning it was just something fun to do like I said during the pandemic keep yourself busy and it wasn't for probably like maybe like a year or so after I started doing calligraphy and taking classes that I really started thinking about it. Like, hmm, this is something I can really do and I really enjoy doing it and I can make some money doing it. This, this could be my little side hustle kind of a thing. So yeah. did you start out right away with um, Sip and Script? Teaching wasn't something I always thought about doing. Hmm. or always wanted to do it just kind of happened because I've never really taught anything before so I was like yeah I don't know yeah. but then it just kind of fell into place and it just kind of all worked out so okay and now I really enjoy teaching yeah so how often are you teaching so okay for people who are listening who don't know what sip and script is um I they actually the founders of sip and script were on my podcast on the Sheena show because I was like you're doing something really cool let's let's chat about it um and they is a, a pair of women who just became yep. friends through the calligraphy community and decided like, hey, let's put together these in-person classes where people can sip wine and learn kind of the basics of point and pen calligraphy. And we will get teachers all over the country who kind yep. of put, put on their own workshops, but with the sip and script branding and materials and teaching yep. methods and all of that. So how, um, how often do you teach with sip and script? So I teach probably about three or four times a month. Oh, um, wow. 
Yeah. So the really cool thing is I can make my own schedule with them. So that's a really big plus. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of, most of the classes I do in the evenings yeah. when I finish work, I will do a couple maybe on a Sunday, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. So just like three or four a month, maybe wow. something like that. Okay. And how much extra income is that bringing in for you? I mean, some months I can make eight or $900. I've even made up to a thousand dollars, $1,200. Yeah. And then other months it might be three or $400. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it's just extra. So um, that makes it nice. But yeah, so you can really, like I said, it just kind of varies depending on how many people attend the class, you know, but it's, it's nice income and, and I enjoy, and like I said, yeah. it's just really cool to meet people, yeah. to meet all kinds of different crafty, artsy people. You find all kind of other, you know, people are like, now I want to add calligraphy to yeah. my scrapbooking, to my bullet journaling, to yeah. my drawing. So, so it's just really cool just to meet other people and then share yeah. something that you enjoy doing with them yeah. and see them kind of light up and, and kind of get it and click. And they, or they walk away feeling like, <gasps> I can really do this. I can do cards for the holidays. I can do cards for dinner parties. Yeah. I can do for my wedding. So it's it's a cool feeling, as I'm sure you know, just to see people walk away like, yeah. hey, I can do this. No, I mean, okay. I just got to reiterate that this is such a cool, I kind of take it for granted. I've talked to so many people who are making money with their calligraphy, but like just the fact that you can pick up a craft that you really enjoy and then you didn't even think about teaching and you probably weren't thinking like, I'm such a great teacher. I'm going to do no. that. for No, you're just like, I'm going to try this thing. Might as well throw my name in there. And then you end up making yeah. like uh, anywhere from a few hundred to thousand dollars a month, depending on how much you want to put into it, yep. what you want to yep. push, how many classes you want to schedule, yep. probably the time of year. Yeah. And then you just make some extra money and you enjoy yeah. it. <laughs> It yes, works around your yes. schedule. Yeah, it's, say. it's really cool. All right. So you had mentioned, though, that you wanted to kind of pull back from maybe so many frequent workshops to focus on something else in your business. So what is that? That sounds exciting. Yeah. So this summer, I haven't taught as many classes because I did want to kind of focus on just building my brand a little bit, quote unquote, and, and honing some more skills and adding some new services. Yeah. I really would like to add um, engraving and hot foiling to my services. Yeah. And that's cool too, that you get to decide that's the direction you want to take your business in. Tell me yeah. about this. Um, you're doing some stuff with weddings too. So, yeah. So I would also like to get more into day of wedding. Yeah. Um, uh, stationary kind of engra uh, calligraphy. Not so much invitations, because I'm like, I don't know, that's so much work, but more place cards, you know, bar menus, food charts, seating charts, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And um, it was really cool. I got a chance to do a acrylic sign for a bridal shower a couple okay. weeks ago. So that yeah. was super cool. Uh, did you get paid for the acrylic sign? Not really. It was more of just like something fun. Um, yeah. My cousin asked me to do it for her okay, cousin. Yeah. who's just like a family member, but it was just really nice to get myself out there yeah. to doing that. And it was really nice to practice and, and to learn how to really kind of do it. And um, I got so much positive feedback, not from only the potential bride and groom, but like all of their family members, there were probably like 150 people at the shower. So Dang. a lot of people were like, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. And then of course, when I showed other family and friends, everyone's like, oh my goodness, I did not know you did that. That's really super cool. So yeah, so I want to work on some more of that kind of stuff. Yeah. The next few months and into the new year. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I totally recommend that tactic to all of my business students. Like, Getting paid is not the only form of value that you get out of doing a calligraphy job. So often it is the experience yeah. and learning. Yeah. And then the like showing people a yeah. uh, like tangible concrete thing that they, they, they understand it right away. And then in their heads, they're thinking, oh, well, Danielle does this kind of thing. Maybe at my next yeah. event, you know, I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know somebody that does that. Yep. Or they can tell someone else, you know, mm -hmm. hey, I know I have a friend that does that. That yeah. would be really cool. So, yeah. So, but it was just fun. It was the experience. And like I said, I just really loved all the positive feedback. Yeah. And, 
it just makes you feel so good when people appreciate your work and mm -hmm. she the bride and groom were surprised they didn't know that they were going to have the sign so oh. and it was perfect it was in the colors of the wedding that she yeah. wanted and it looked really nice I must say myself <laughs> and <laughs> it does but, um, yeah but yeah so they were piece. happy and yeah yeah happy surprised and, and I just felt like Oh, I'm the star today. Check out my work. So yeah, it was nice. It was yeah. just, just an awesome feeling. Yeah. So I got to say, I mean, I know you mentioned, you know, previously to me that you're kind of like a quieter person that you'd never really thought of yourself as a creative person. I mean, like how has calligraphy changed your life, Danielle? It has shown me that I do have some creativeness in my brain because yeah. like I told you before, I've always been that kind of person that's like, that part of my brain does not work. <laughs> I can excel at some other stuff, but creativity, no, I can't mm -hmm. like paint or draw or do anything like that or poetry or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so then, like I said, and now people are like, yes you are you're very creative <laughs> yeah clearly you just didn't know it that it was maybe hidden for all these years so it's just really boosted my self-confidence in that way mm -hmm. and just really um like I say yeah just so much confidence that I can do it I am a creative person I am kind of sort of crafty nerdy and never knew I was before mm -hmm. and that's okay <laughs> yeah and I like it I'm surprising myself all the time like I didn't know I could really do this and make such pretty things with my hands mm -hmm. and showing all my family and friends like, Hey, and everyone's like, Oh my goodness, look at you go girl. And I'm like, I know I can't believe it either. So. <laughs> that is the so, best thing. Yeah. Surprising yourself. I love that yep. you said that. Isn't that amazing that we get to do that over and over as we live our lives? Yeah. Yep. It's just like, yeah, I've just been blown away by the things that I've accomplished because like I said, I just never thought I was that kind of person. Yeah. And now I really am. And it's like, yeah. yeah, it's just an awesome feeling that, and I'm so happy. And calligraphy has been so therapeutic for me. I think I mm. mentioned that to you as well. Like I said, it seems like my life is always crazy and I'm running all over the place, but it's so therapeutic. It's so relaxing. It's so something to call my own. Yeah. And it was so nice because my niece was like, this is something that you can own, that you can call mm -hmm. your own because you do so much for everyone else. And yeah. now you get to do something for you yeah. that feels good, that makes you happy, that gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. And I'm like, because hmm, you're, a, I guess you're, so. a, you're a caretaker. You're yes. taking care of your mom who has dementia and is yeah. older and lives with you. Yeah. So now it's like, I can just light a candle, turn on some soft music and like go into like my own little private like mm. zone and just like, oh, it's just like such a nice feeling like, yeah, yeah, this is something just for me that I can cut off the rest of the world and just go into my little zone and do yeah. my little thing. So, so, so yeah, that's important. an awesome feeling. Yes. Yes. Like you said, it's a feeling that you just didn't even know you needed or that mm -hmm. you had. And, mm -hmm. and it's filled, filled that kind of a void, I guess, for me. And I felt for so many, sometimes I feel like my life is so like <laughs> superficial because I'm like, all I do is like shop and eat and travel. And I don't, <laughs> which there's nothing wrong with that kind of stuff. And I love it. Yeah. But now it's like, I can do something for other people. I have something else that I can share that can give them joy. Something as simple as like writing somebody's name on a place card or on a, you know, a thank you card or something yeah. like that. People are like, oh, yeah, they light away. up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So just to be able to do that for people makes me feel really good inside. Yeah. It's just like, I can do something that can make other people like happy. And so i I mean, I'm hearing so many things that you have a place you know you can go to that's just for you. And I've had other students say this too. Calligraphy yep. is something that no one can take away from me. Now you have yep. it for life, right? Yeah. And that it's also given you this sense of purpose, not only like self-care, but like purpose outwards yep. towards other people too, which is yes. like a yes. marvelous thing. Okay, a marvelous so- thing. Final question before I ask you to share where people can find you. Was it worth the investment? Was investing in our courses worth it? Yes, yes, double yes. <laughs> I think it's a quadruple. I, 
Yes, <laughs> quadruple. But um, yes, for sure. No doubt about it. I think it was totally worth it. It was very, I think, very reasonably priced, which I loved. I love the payment programs. And you have to spend money to make money. I totally get that. And I've always believed in that. So I think it was definitely worth it expense. Um, I learned so much. I would definitely recommend the courses to anyone. Actually, your courses were recommended to me. I was talking to another person that took your classes a couple mm-hmm. years ago that I've become really good friends with through the calligraphy world. And we were just talking about stuff and we were looking at other things. And I had looked, at, like you said, there's so much out there. Yeah. So I was looking at your courses. I was looking at a couple others and I was like, hmm. And then she was like, no, take Sheena's course. You're going to love it this is how much I learned and it helped me so much in my biz. And I was like, let me dig into this Sheena girl and see what's going on with her. (laughs) (laughs) So then I started really, and I was like, yeah, I like it. I think I'm going to enjoy this. And so, yeah, definitely worth the investment. Definitely Mm -hmm. would recommend to others. Amazing. And you got lifetime access. You can always revisit when you need to whip up a fresh new alphabet for yourself. Yes. So cool to hear. Thank you so, so much, Danielle, for coming on and sharing your story. And where can people find you? Your Instagram is Danielle Janine. Janine Calligraphy. Calligraphy. Yes, Danielle Janine Calligraphy Mm -hmm. on Instagram. Look me up. Find me. I can help you if you're in the Ohio, Columbus area and surrounding areas in Ohio. If you need something fun and cool and exciting or you have an idea or thought, just DM me and then we can see what we can do. Yeah. Very nice. And we will put all that info like below, you know, link it below. Yes. Thank you so, so much for coming on and sharing your story and sharing your time. Thank you so much for having me. I feel it like was happier fun. having talked to you. Yes. <laughs> I'm I, so excited I, yes, for your really, future. Yes. Yes. I am excited as well. I think yeah. it's going to be pretty awesome and I appreciate all your help Yeah, and you rock. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs>